All right, so this is going to be Gemini, Sun, Moon, and as well rising a weekly general tarot reading, uh, January 20th to January 26th, 2020. And um, in case, guys, you're interested to get in touch with me for a uh, personal reading, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website. And with that being said, uh, now we are going to jump into the spread. Uh, this time around, I'm kind of like experimenting. So this is going. To, this is not going to be the traditional spreads I'm using. It's just going to be seven cards in string. Whatever they show, that's it. I mean, it could be a bit, how can I say it? All over the place as they could relate to different kind of stuff. Just so you'll be warned. So the first one, uh, which we do have for you, Gemini, for throughout the week is Four of Pentacles. So that it, it does look like that up from the first card. Uh, this week is going to be a, a very, I would say, fantastic week for you to consolidate and to defend, you know, for example, your career or, for example, your relationship and to take a measures, a certain kind of steps, actions to make plans or you name it, in order to secure, to ensure its secure future to your endeavors or to your, uh, once again, relationship, to your career. So in general, with the Four of Pentacles, people were up to build a comfort zone to establish domains. And that is what the week is going to be about, for you at least, with the very first card. Needless to say that the Four of Pentacles is very good about a monetary gains and monetary success, although with the Four of Pentacles, it's quite advisable to kind of share your good fortune with others because if you do focus on it alone, I mean the monetary success alone, then the card kind of says that you may experience a bit of a lonely existence for the duration of the monetary success. The next one, uh, that is going to be Judgment. So Judgment card on its own accord, it is a card about union, reunion, wake up calls and in generally finding the finally finding finally the right way to do things usually manifests in a very um worrisome and as well a kind of like a situation of struggle where things just doesn't want to budge through and things are kind of like into standstill i know answer or rather like a current i mean no answer or current plan actually produce a satisfiable enough results and then judgment appears or manifests and that means that a, a suddenly let's say additional option available is going to be presented to you one way or another either by the universe or either by by a someone else which will allow you to actually how can i say manifest the or finalize or accomplish the worrisome situations and the troublesome situations that you may experience for throughout the week and probably this is going to be the reason where you are will be able to secure to ensure excuse me your secure future and establish your domain consolidate your relationship consolidate your career and on top of it build up a, a material gains from it so the next one here, that is to be the third card, and that will be the Eight of Cups for you, Gemini. So Eight of Cups it is the card pointing that that is not the end. What I mean is that sometimes people face misfortunate situations. Sometimes things does not exactly turn the way we want it to turn out, or the way we have anticipated, or the way we wished these things to turn out and whenever uh, a thing does not evolve the way we want sadly in this case with the eight of cups people can do little about the best thing that they can do it is just you know draw the line and, and move on fate for a better perspective perspectives because the eight of cups it's all about that about although the current situation or some of current situations may not be fortunate enough according to your standards a better perspectives are to emerge soon so what the card here tells us it is that you gemini should not waste your time bread efforts um means as well resources into things that are not 
um, how can I into things, situations, people, for example, projects that simply are not turning the way you want them to turn or the very least you should wait for this judgment to manifest itself which is going to give you the options available you crave for but instead redirect those resources into new goals into new means into a new more um promisable and as well you know satisfiable enterprises that are lurking and awaiting you just around the corner so the next one here which is the fourth one guys that is to be the tree of wands and tree of wands points that this week as well is to be well it's related to the four of pentacles and it kind of gives us the continuation of the four of pentacles it points that once you establish your patterns all right once you consolidate once you finalize things you are likely to find yourself in a very how can i say it well established and good foundation to proceed from now on to grow career and relationship wise simultaneously in both and uh, however three of wands it is the card that does not uh, kind of like gives you um easy growth uh, in a sense of that um what is expected from you to do in order to manifest the growth from the tree of wands it is to challenge yourself therefore this week it is also likely that you are going to lift your expectations or not your expectations but let's say your goals you are to lift your goals um kind of set up a a, a bigger kind of like how can i say it greater achievements for yourself so you actually grow in skills and in emotional content as well and in generally placing in front of yourself yeah that's the word in front of yourself a bigger and more difficult content so you know you can actually lift the um your personal limits or yeah lift the bar of your personal limitations of your capabilities if you will um and in generally of the range you know of um the range of, of things that you can accomplish in your life in general. The uh, next one, which is the fifth card for you, is going to be the King of Swords. So we do have a person that takes place for you in throughout this week. King of Swords, these people are very smart, obviously, because it's a, it's a sword card. But also they are very ruthless in a sense of that uh, they do not care about emotional uh, how can i say it uh, emotional display and emotional standpoint all that they care about is what kind of purpose you serve for them and what kind of purpose they serve for you as well so what you can expect from the king of swords in the positive side the king in the positive side the king of swords can help you ma analyze your situation and through that careful analysis the way out or the way through it the way through the difficulties you may you may experience at that point is going to be revealed so as we can see that it is very tightly related to the judgment card and this new option available may very well come around from the king of swords here that appears throughout this week that could be a counselor advisor um, a medical doctor lawyer uh, and etc etc these people usually take places of power they take places of a not exactly leadership position but those kind of positions that they advise you what to do now on the flip side oh yeah and whatever actions that person advises you to take those actions are going to be very very effective on the on the flip side if it comes in a negative way that is a, a very fearsome enemy enemy that stands from a, a position of power and it is someone that it, it can be reckoned with i mean it's someone that you are to overcome very very in a very very difficult way and uh, then is going to be highly related to the eight of cups which points that if you can't do anything about it it is better to leave it aside and just move on into a much more brighter and better perspectives the sixth card for you gemini is to be the uh, queen of cups and we do have another person here so queen of cups uh, queen of uh, wands excuse me guys 
So Queen of Wands, uh, these people, they like life above everything else. What I mean is that they do like to party, they, look to, they, they, they like to show themselves around, they like to shine in general. These people like to be in the center of the company. So what is the contribution of the Queen of Wands? In a positive end, the Queen of Wands, it is kind of a person who knows your true nature. What I mean is that she very well knows what you are good at, what you can withstand, and what is gonna break you, and also has an acute sense into, um, what, how can I say it, your um, things you prefer and things you dislike. Uh, if that's your boss, for example, it's a very great news. It is because this means that it's gonna assign you exactly at the project that you can shine at. So it's all about your shining and that person here will try to develop that shining in you. In a negative way, the Queen of Wands, it is a, a very jealous individual, someone that's um, not jealous, yeah, it could be jealous, but it could be as well enviable. And the difference in between jealousy and envy, it is like when you don't have anything, when you don't have something and you want it from someone, that's envy. When you have something and you don't want anybody to have it, that jealousy. Okay, so that's the difference. So she goes both ways. Uh, in other words, she does not handle very well when people have more than her. She does not handle very well criticism. She does not handle very well when you have to offer more than she can offer, right? And in the same time, she wants everything. So that is the negative side of the Queen of Wands. And obviously you have to be very careful with that person. And the last card that we do have for you is going to be the Seven of Wands which is the uh, seventh card here. Um, yeah, it's the seventh card. And seven of wands, it kind of puts you in between the hammer and the anvil of these two individuals. Um, it's highly advisable not to take any sides in between. The way I see it here is that those two will require your attention, your skills, your performance into something. It could be romantically involved, for example, two people fighting for your love. It could be a uh, career involved, you know, two people wanting you to take participation of either of their projects, but you can't take a participation in both of them, so you have to choose. And the Seven of Wands here advises you not to take a side at that point. It is because uh, you simply need to uh, guard your ground at that point. As we said, Four of Pentacles, it is where you establish your position, your comfort zone. You don't want to be a part of someone else's comfort zone, all right? You want to establish your own one. You want to establish your own career. You want to establish your own relationship for throughout this week and above everything else to secure to ensure its secure future you which you can totally do i uh, just because the uh, judgment card sits into the second position once again uh, just after the four of pentacles and if you have no idea how you're gonna do that in in time that you are listening to this reading well the judgment is gonna give you the prerequisites you require it's just you need to be on the lookout for them all right it's just look around yourself and be always uh, have that always readiness for action and uh, it is how you're gonna make your breakthrough so that being said gemini this was your weekly general uh, tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it i mean this way that i'm reading because those who are following me for a long time they know that i just uh, the, that i read in spreads never in string it's because this is how you're supposed to do it this is how tarot works Reading without spreads, it is like trying to make a, to, to read astrology without a chart. It's the same thing. You, you just can't. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully I did a great job, uh, a good job. Well, not great, but good job here. And you liked it, guys. Let me know into the comments down below. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.